Hey guys, I'm Ben from Curry's, and in this video, I'm gonna talk you through three important ways that you can keep you and your youngster's gaming performance on point. Some of these things may seem obvious, but they often get taken for granted. Number one, make sure you're sitting comfortably. Number two, hydrate and exercise regularly. And number three, take breaks and set time limits for children. Remember, this is all stuff that's gonna help you in the long run. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So even if you're taking breaks from your gaming session, that's okay. We're gonna head over to the studio in our gaming setup, and I'll talk you through these in more detail. Proper gaming posture is incredibly important, especially because as gamers, we spend so much time in a seated position. Then while there is no such thing as a proper gaming posture, there are things that you can do to minimize the risks of being static for too long. So first, it's good to have a gaming chair like this one. Then you wanna make sure that your chin is tucked so that your ears are in line with your shoulders. Next is the elbows. Ideally, you'd want them at 90 degrees, but it's important that they don't elevate your shoulders. You then wanna make sure that your shoulders are not rounded or hunched. So roll them back, Pinch your shoulder blades together and push them down. You wanna make sure your upper back is leaning comfortably into the chair. If your chair reclines, between 90 and 120 degrees is good. Just making sure that your lower back is pressed into the chair as well. Then we wanna make sure that our feet are flat against the floor and that your knees aren't elevated or hanging off the chair as well. It's also important to keep your body healthy. And to do that, stay hydrated and keep a bottle of water close so that you can keep yourself topped up. It's also important to exercise regularly, whether that be press-ups, squats, lunges, anything that you feel comfortable doing. You can even get up and do a light stretch, anything to get the blood flowing and the heart rate up. Lastly, it can be really easy to get lost in a game and lose track of time, but that can be really hard on your body. So it's important to take frequent breaks. This is gonna help you to game for longer. An easy way to set reminders is by setting an alarm on your phone, on your smartwatch or any smart device, whatever works for you. Gaming can also put a lot of strain on your eyes and cause headaches and even nausea, so make sure you rest them often. And if you're tired, if you're fighting to stay awake, then sleep. The game will always be there by the time that you get back. For children, it's recommended to set time limits for each day, 30 to 60 minutes on school days and two hours or less on non-school days. For children under the age of six, no more than one hour on each day. It's also important to set boundaries and make sure that kids aren't gaming too late into the night, which might affect their sleep. These are all things that are gonna make you more alert and actually help you game better, so you're gonna win more often. So, if you want more gaming tips, you can visit us in store, head online, or speak to one of our tech experts on Shop Live.